Hey guys and welcome to my real life house with an actual huge mess complete and utter disaster we are going to clean declutter organize all of this in a realistic non pinterest worthy way i hope this video gives you guys some serious motivation to declutter and organize your home in a way that functions and works for you my goal when decluttering and organizing is not to have the most minimal things I can possibly have and it's not to have a bunch of perfect looking bins that are all matching and Pinterest worthy. It's to have a space that works for my family that feels beautiful to me. So I hope that comes across to you guys. We are going to start in the game room. Now we recently moved which is why you will see boxes. I'm going to have to unpack first then declutter, organize, all that fun stuff. So I thought I'd show you what we're working with as far as storage. We have a whole closet for toys, which is awesome. We have this built-in, which has drawers and cabinets. So let's get started. With a space that is as messy as this one is, it can feel very overwhelming and like you don't even know where to start. My suggestion is just get moving. Do something even if it doesn't totally make sense and eventually you'll start to make a dent in it and it will raise your motivation and you will get even more things done because you will feel positive about it, you will see some results and you'll wanna keep going. I am getting rid of any empty boxes and then I'm just going to start picking things up, kind of organizing them by type, by toy, and just starting there, just getting things up and off the floor. I simply went through my house and looked for different bins that we already have. I tend to gravitate towards more pretty things, more gray and white type things, so they do kind of go together, but that really doesn't matter. Just find some bins in your house. I promise you, you have some. Just find some bins and start trying to organize the toys by type. I also grabbed a couple of trash bags, one for giveaway and one for trash. Now, I am not trying to give away every single toy that we own. So yes, I am decluttering this game room. It is extremely cluttered, as you can see, with stuff all over the floor to where you cannot walk. But am I giving away 90% of my kids' toys? Absolutely not. share a thought about playrooms filled with toys and my philosophy. I really believe that playrooms are meant to be messy. They're meant to be played in, but if they are constantly messy to where you can't see what's what, like it is right now, where there are just toys littering the floor and you just, who's going to play with that when they're just everywhere like that? So that is definitely not appropriate in my mind. And I wanted to get this 
organized and decluttered up off the floor, making sense a little bit. So when my little guys wake up in the morning, they can come into their game room and play their hearts out and make a huge mess with their toys. And then every evening we will have a system in place that we can clean it all up in a reasonable amount of time. But I do not want to minimize my kids' toys so much that they can't make a mess because I've decluttered it so much that they have nothing, basically. That doesn't make any sense. To me, I want to give away, throw away toys that don't make sense for our family anymore. But besides that, I just want to have a really good system in place so that my boys can play and play and then we'll clean it up and then the cycle will start all over again in the morning. Here is the final product for the game room. Is it perfectly organized and Pinterest worthy? No. Is it picked up and do the toys have a place for the boys to put them in? Yes, absolutely. Now let's move on to the office. This room was a lot trickier than the game room for me because there was so much stuff to go through. So many personal items to decide if they spark joy for me still or not. So many school supplies, homeschool supplies. We do homeschool. I did homeschool my oldest for two and a half years and then of course send him to school and the coronavirus came and now he's back to homeschooling so yeah we do have a lot of educational type toys or toys we do have that as well educational type stuff I guess and we just have a lot of stuff there's too much stuff in here but there's a lot of really good stuff in here too a lot of really useful tools for educating my kids a lot of really great books you guys will see me struggle with trying to get rid of books. I love books, you guys. My husband is always telling me we have enough books, and I'm always telling him that we don't. <laughs> so I did declutter my books a little bit. I tried to be ruthless, but you guys will see what happens with that. I also tried to declutter my cards, so you guys will see what happens with that as well. And we are just gonna get this place in tip top shape. I am going to start by just getting everything out of the boxes. My little boys have already started that for me, as you can see. That is the fun part about moving with little ones. They will just start unpacking before you even thought about unpacking so thanks to them I have a head start but I am first just gonna go through these boxes and decide what still sparks joy for me and what does not a lot of these books still spark a lot of joy
so I have unpacked everything and the room is still just a complete disaster. It looks even worse than before, honestly, but there is just stuff all over the floor. The shelving, I have just put all of the stuff on the shelving in no particular order, no rhyme or reason to this. So I'm going to work very hard to get these shelves organized, looking you know, somewhat pretty, showing off some of our little knickknacks and pictures that we like. Get everything off the floor. So this is the shot where I show you guys what books I'm decluttering, what books I'm giving away until I realized, no, 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 this is my favorite book of all time. Definitely not getting rid of that one. And this one, hmm, looks interesting. Definitely not getting rid of that one either. But these, I already have that book. That's a double, so we'll let that one go. Eleanor and Park was not that great, so I'm going to let that one go. I have the internet and my baby's going to be here in just a couple months and I did not like that book for my son. And here's a shot of the view from our office. Very relaxing. So that will distract you from the fact that I also decided to keep the cards instead of just keeping pictures because I realized they sparked a lot of joy as I was taking pictures of them and I wanted to keep them so I'm putting them in my file bin which really they don't take up too much space so I was good with that and this is trash which I am not keeping I'm throwing that away when I'm with you I feel so much better oh yeah before you I was just a shell so stuck in the dark
Why am I okay? Henry, why yeah. did you take out all of the stuff in every single board game? Uh, um, it, it's okay, Mama. It's okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I, I, I'm okay, Mama. <laughs> okay, okay. This is anything but okay, Henry. Madison, now you're calling me by my my formal name. It's it's it, it's okay, Mama. Oh, hmm. It's okay, Madison. It's okay, Mama. <laughs> and then we have the innocent one, aka Trouble Number Two. Over here, what are you going to get into, huh? What are you going to get into? You want me to hold you? Henry, it is going to take hours to figure out what pieces go with what game. This is not good. I like this game. You, what game do you like? Um, this game. Well, what? But you took out all of the games. Yes, I, I, I was going to tell you to open them, and, and, and it'll be cool. It'll be cool. Yeah. Well, but your brother might try to eat the pieces. Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. He's trying to get me to hold him. He's trying his cuteness on me. Mm-hmm.